Hello, and welcome to the 152nd edition of Beer Issues. My name is Matt Ruckert, and I'm coming to you live here from our studios at Casa de Ruckert, where we're going to be having another great world-class beer. As a matter of fact, this beer is rated 100 out of 100. It does not get better than that. Better than that. The beer today is going to be the Founders CBS, or Canadian Breakfast Stout. Now, we've previously done a beer issues on the Kentucky Breakfast Stout, but we've never done the Canadian Breakfast Stout. Now, I've had this beer before, so this is not a surprise to me that this beer is rated 100 out of 100 because it is absolutely delicious. So I'm going to go ahead and pour it. And you see that black motor oil type cover color with the with the uh, you know kind of dark tan head. That beer is beautiful. You see how you get a nice frothy head, the dark tan color, which is perfect for a good uh, stout. Uh, black uh, motor oil almost type color. Now. This beer is nothing to mess around with. It clocks in at 11.3% alcohol by volume. So again, not a beer you're gonna be sitting at the pool and pounding all day long. But for a nice treat, this is a phenomenal, phenomenal beer. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, um, smell this as we talk about it, okay? So I already said that it's rated 100 out of 100 according to Beer Spectator, which I'm gonna to have to agree with them. I agree it's 100 out of 100 because it's a delicious beer. But it's also the number 13 ranked beer in the world. So when you think of the thousands and thousands of different beers there are, this is ranked number 13. So this is a treat to be having. Not my first time having it, but uh, I'm, and I'm sure it will not be my last. As a matter of fact, I bought, bought uh, several of them and I'm gonna age some of them to see how they go. Although with Founders, the question was, is should you age this beer? And Founders' response to that is, if the beer should have been aged longer, we would have. This is meant to be drank right away. So I probably won't age it too long based on their guidance. Um, but, you know, sometimes uh, stouts you can hold on to for a little bit longer, not too long. It's not like a, like a Belgian strong ale or something or a, a barley wine that you can age for 10, 15, 20. Some of them you can age, you know, 50 years. Um, it's not like that. So they're saying they recommend to drink it while it's fresh. Well, this just came out. I grabbed it, I think the day it came out. So uh, this is gonna be fresh. So I'm very, very excited about it. Now it listed as a uh, uh, 2019, and I think they've actually quit making the uh, uh, CBS. Um, they came out with all these new flavors uh, of uh, the KBS. So. They do the KBS and they have the like the Mackinac fudge and the espresso and all this other stuff. I'm a purist when it comes to Imperial Stouts. So the CBS and the KBS will probably always be my favorites. Uh, but um, yeah, I'm always willing to try anything, but it's sad that they quit making this. I think they were just making so many different barrel age. And this all started off when they barrel aged uh, the beer in maple. Uh, barrels. Um, so that's the name the breakfast stout came from. Uh, and what I'm doing right now, I don't know if you can pay attention to what I'm doing here, but I'm kind of warming this up a little bit because I, I normally let this beer sit a little bit longer than I did uh, uh, before having it. So I'm just trying to warm it up a little bit. I did let it sit a bit, but uh, it should have probably sat a little bit longer. And all that does is when you've got a quality beer, is bring out more of the flavor. When it's too cold, you don't get all the flavors. So whenever you get a high quality, uh, either an Imperial Stout or, or a Belgian Strong Ale or something like that, always let it warm up a bit, okay? And I'm doing this the, the old fashioned way where I'm just kinda you know, warming it up with my hands uh, while we talk. Um, so let's go ahead and let's smell this. Hmm, so, you know, the funny thing, right off the bat, uh, uh, you get, and I remember this from the uh, Kentucky uh, breakfast stout, is you get the coffee right off the bat. It's unmistakable coffee. But you do get an alcohol uh, scent in there also. I'm assuming that's the whiskey. 
I smell vanilla. And I do, I can definitely smell, which blends very well with the coffee is uh, the maple. Is it, it's like a coffee maple flavor combo. Um, the way, when you smell it. Mm. Oh, you, you could just sit here and smell this coffee for a long time. You wouldn't have to drink, uh, smell this uh, beer for a while. You wouldn't have to drink it. Although the drinking part is the most enjoyable, but it smells so delicious and so wonderful. Oh yeah. All right. So, um, this is it, the CBS. So we're going to go ahead and, uh, Check it out here, okay? This is part of their Barrel Age series. Mm. It is just as delicious as I remember. You are getting a really nice coffee maple blend that is just, I mean, incredible. I mean, absolutely incredible. I don't get the a lot of the alcohol presence, um, but I get a really nice maple coffee flavor, and I can get the vanilla, definitely the vanilla in there. It is definitely just phenomenal. Now, this one is going to be very hard to find, especially since they're not making it anymore. So, I don't know where you live, but wherever you are that you live, um, I found this at uh, Total Wine in Altamont. Um, and they had, uh, I had about two cases of it, but I would imagine it won't be long for this world because people know about the CBS and the KBS. They probably have more KBS, uh, I think they're still producing that. But the CBS, they pulled that out and uh, I would imagine it'll it'll probably sell out pretty quickly. As a matter of fact, I'm kind of mad at myself that I didn't buy more of them because it is so darn good. Founders makes a lot of great beers, actually. Founders Brewing is out of Michigan. As a matter of fact, I got a group of my friends that are up there uh, snowmobiling. Uh, so uh, right now, they're up there in Michigan snowmobiling all over the place. Uh, and they love to do that. And they, I bet you when they stop, they'll probably have some of this good, good quality beer. Because nothing would warm me up like this beautiful beer. Mm. So Paul... If you're watching Beer Issues, pull off, find you one of these and uh, have it because it's absolutely delicious. So uh, anyway, if you've enjoyed this, make sure you tell your friends and their friends about how much fun we're having talking about great beers that are rated 100 out of 100 and drinking great beers. And if you want any cool gear issue, Beer Issues gear, make sure you go to shop.beerissues.com. And you can find great shirts, hats, you know, all kinds of great stuff. And as my wife likes to say, I have beer issues.